to be pretty simple. We are going to review our Google Meets, review our class norms, review our mission statement and goals, review our learning objectives, and then we are going to do week 13, day one, chapter two, lesson one, the mountains and basins region. So we are going to start a new chapter today. Yay! The regions of Texas. Google etiquette, please make sure you show up time. Make sure you have a quiet place to work. You have pencil, paper, and eraser. That means you have all materials, not just those things, but all materials that you might need. Mute your microphone. Even if I am not sitting here, you need to mute your microphone. Do you not? You do. You do. There's no reason to unmute and talk unless I've called on you. Your video needs to be on. You will raise your hand or use the nod when you have a question. Unmute your microphone to talk only when you've been called upon and leave at the end of the meeting. Miss Lopez, you need to find a place to sit down and join us, please. Thank you. All right, our class norms need to be kind, be respectful, and be working. Be working, stay on task, guys. Our mission statement, you do not have to unmute to do this, I can see you. You will work together as friends and family. In Mrs. Metz class, to gain more knowledge, to work, and to learn. So we can all be successful. We will listen to each other, help each other, and encourage each other. We will make things happen and show the world we will not accept anything short of the best. All right. 100% of Mrs. Met students will show growth on unit assessments throughout the 2020-2021 school year. They will accomplish this goal by being purposeful and intentional with their time and learning. Today's learning objective, the key idea is I will know about the geography of the mountains and basin regions of Texas. So we don't need all that. So here's what I want you to do. Are y'all listening? Because now you're gonna follow instructions. You need to go into your HEB ISD class links. You are no longer looking at the meeting. You are going into the HEB ISD class links. Then you need to open up your, actually, open up your Savas. And now, yeah, open up your Savas. I have to find mine. Your Savas Easy Bridge. I'm going to say this a million times. Mine does not look like yours. Mine does not look like yours. Do you understand that? Mine does not look like yours. I don't know what yours looks like. Some of you have the ability to get into the text and some of you may not. I Raise your hand if you're having some issues and then I can write it down because I don't necessarily have the fix, but I will make note of it so that I can see if I can't find somebody who does have the fix. Um. I don't know if I can get into, hang on a second. I'm going to see if I can log into somebody's account. Jordan, do you have a question? Um, have you contacted the help desk yet? Oh, well, you may have to just pay attention and listen, and then when it does get to working, go in and take the quiz. 
okay? Um, actually, I'm going to see if I can't log into yours then. Give me a second, guys, to bring up my um, Elmo. Gracious. Somebody's making some noise. There we go. All right, so I am going to show you guys this. This is Jordan's, so that you can see what it looks like from your end. So I'm gonna find his Savas Easy Bridge. See, I went into his textbooks. I'm opening up his Savas Easy Bridge. Fingers crossed it works. It may not, no promises. I'm about to find out. I'm going to go into socks, too, because that's what class we're in, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're in social studies right now, right? So I'm going to click on socks, too. Maybe. Or not. Just kidding. Hmm. Ah, there it goes. So, I had to click the arrow. We don't have anybody for testing reasons. What do you mean? Testing when? Yeah. Testing when? Yeah. So, you're not going to have anybody in here? Yeah, I will. Are they good on devices or anything? Oh, I don't know, because they'll be coming in from other classes. Okay, then they'll be fine. So yeah. Else is, they yes, they they will just move in from the there because my home room's online. So whoever doesn't need their extra care, come in here. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. All right. Um. Okay. So in case you're wondering, I don't know if y'all saw that. I was having a hard time clicking on that sock stew, and it was because that arrow. Look at that. I had to click on that arrow, didn't I? So I can't just click on socks too, it doesn't come up. I have to click that little arrow thingy so that my world social studies comes up. So I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna zoom back out so y'all can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna focus, focus. Whoa, all right. And then I'm gonna go click on my world. Oh, look at that. My World Social Studies. So, hang on a second. How come? Okay. If you did not click on classes, let's see what classes does. Oh, so it shows you. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. If you are up here and you are on the browse, go click on classes. Can you do that for me? Go click on classes. I don't know. Does all of yours look like this? Yes or no? No? No. Okay. So, job. Does yours ever look like this? Okay, Jessalyn. Oh, 
And that class is my class, yes? Yes. Okay. That's fine. So, when you click on classes up here, most of you, with the exception of like three or four of you, should have reading and social studies, or reading and socks too, right? Yes? Okay. So I'm going to click on that socks too. And if you notice, he's got one not started assignment, right? Because how many times have you and I had this conversation of, you need to go check to make sure all your assignments are done. You need to go check to make sure all your assignments are done. I tell you to check STEM Scouts, Canvas, and Sabas, don't I? So whether it's reading or social studies, you need to go click on your classes and check your in-progress stuff. Make sure all your in-progress assignments have been completed as well. Because technically, you should have nothing in progress right now. It should all be completed and one, not started. Because the not started one is the one that we're going to do right now. And I know, Jordan, you're not the only one, dear. Trust me. There's 20 other students in this class right now that have a laundry list of in progress, right? You should not have any, if you have anything in progress, you're going to spend your time fixing this tomorrow. Yes? Yes. All right. So, I am going to click on the not started 11-9-2020. Funny enough, that's today. You are supposed to do the stu student e-text audio. I'm going to read that to you in just a second. And then you need to take the quiz. Bye. Ah, please do not unmute and start talking. You're going to take the quiz. Now, some of you like to take the quiz before we are done reading. That's a really bad idea. It's a really bad idea. Because you don't get 20, 20 chances to take these quizzes, do you? You get one. You get one shot only. So I wouldn't start taking the quiz until I'm done reading. Thumbs up. All right, Kaden, what did you need? I still can't see my agenda. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I still have a list out for that. So let me ask you this: Can you get onto Savas Easy Bridge? Okay. It's a dance world. No. Can you get on? Can you go back to the class? What happens? Ah. What happens when um when you get to this screen? Okay. Okay, is one of your not started 11 09 2020? Yes. Okay, can you click on it? I did. Does yours look like this? Yes. What happens? Yes. What happens when you click on the student e text? Do you still get that you don't have permission thing? No, it's not. It's just opening the window. Okay, so then what happens? I'm waiting. So you don't get this? No. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to read it out loud anyway. So just, Kaden, make sure that you're listening, okay? And I'm going to see if I can get a PDF version that I can send to you so that you have it. Uh, I'm, what I might, I'm going to see if I can't. Are you? Well, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get the PDF in the assignment in Canvas so it's accessible to anybody who's having this issue. Because I don't think you're the only one having this issue. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I don't think it's just him. I've had others that I've logged into and couldn't get into. Like, even with my own son's stuff, there's times that I can't get into it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to read through this, though, and then, um, and then I will see if I can't get the PDF for that. There's, I've been told there's a way to do it. Yes, sir. What's wrong with your student email? I don't. What? How are you trying to get there with it? You gotta give me a second. Let me move my stuff around. I'm I'm getting on it. I hadn't I don't I haven't been getting on it. So mine's loading on my end. Yes, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been using it. I feel like my classes go 90 to nothing. I don't even have a chance to look at Go Guardian. Although I'm glad that I did. Because <laughs> I have some people that are like not doing what they're supposed to. All right. Um, okay, Kaden. Show me what you got. Anyway, I'm in my class and I'm in the email. I click it and it says that it's going to be a loading application. And then just I don't even know where my settings come up. Okay, hang on. My, it's taking a minute for it to show up on my screen. Because, oh, well, now I'm looking at. The meeting again. No, you're fine. I just. Okay, don't click off of it yet. Hang on just a minute. Well, I don't even see that right now. All I see is loading application. Like it still says loading application on my end. Okay, so what happens if you go, instead of using that, if you open up a new tab? Okay, hang on. No, 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 no. I'm waiting for your screen to catch up. Hang on a second. Like, I'm not, I don't know why, but my Go Guardian's not, I think this is why I don't use it. My Go Guardian is not, I can't see your screen right now. So I, I don't want you to click, I don't want you to type in Gmail. I want you to go to the upper right hand corner and I want you to see if your little dot has a C in it. Okay. When you, when you are looking at, when you open up a new tab, up there in the right hand corner, do you see Gmail? Does it have like, um, here, let me see if I can show you what mine looks like. If, yeah, so it should say Gmail. What happens if you click on that Gmail? What? Okay. 
No, this is good information because that may be why it's not. Wait, so you can't sync and you can't get into your Gmail. All right. I am going to shoot an email in just a second. Again, we can see if we can't do that again. In the meantime, that kind of gives me a little bit more information to give them. All right. All right, so I'm going to go back to these textbook. Oh, it's not very long, so I'll be able to read this. I am going to read this and I'm going to let you take the quiz. All right, guys? All right, this is the Mountains and Basins region of Texas. Texas can be divided into four major geographic reason, regions. These regions are determined by their major landforms. The region located in the far west of Texas is the Mountains and Basins regions, also known as Basin and Range region. Find the geographic region in the map. What map? That map? Oh, I guess it's in the pink. Check that out. <laughs> By help. It's this pink area right there. The land. The basins in the western part of the region make up part of the Chihuahua Desert. Texas shares the desert with New Mexico, Arizona, and the country of Mexico. Mountain ranges run through the center of the region. The Guadalupe Mountains run from New Mexico into Texas. This is the highest mountain range in the state. Guadalupe Peak is the highest point in Texas. It stands 8,749 feet above sea level. The second tallest mountains are the Davis Mountains. South of these, the Chisos Mountains are the third highest range in the state. The climate in this geographic region is very dry. In fact, much of the region is a desert or an area that gets less than 10 inches of rain per year. The vegetation in the desert includes the creosote bush, cacti, and yucca, agave, and so tall plants. It is very hot in the summer, but because of the mountains, the region can have cold winters. There can be even snow there. Because this region is dry and rocky, it is not good for farming. Most of the population lives along the Rio Grande where they can have access to water. In the, in the rest of the region, communities are small and the mountains separate towns. People have adapted to the rugged environment of this geographic region by creating parks. Every year, about one and a half million people visit the Guadalupe Mountain National Park and Bin Bin National Park. Mountain lions, oh, I don't know what that is, peregrine falcons and other wildlife make the homes in these parks. Many people work in the parks, protecting the animals and the land and helping visitors. This is an example of human activity creating an economic region. In this case, the economy is based on tourists visiting parks. I'm gonna go to the next page. Sorry guys, hang on a second. I'm trying to find my place. All right. Comparing the geographic regions, Texas is not the only part of North America to have mountains and basins. The mountains and basins regions of Texas is part of a larger region known as the Basin and Range Province. This larger region extends from Mexico and covers much of New Mexico, Arizona, and Nevada. Long, excuse me, long narrow mountain ranges separated by flat valleys or basins cover much of the region. This is one of the driest areas in the United States. In fact, it includes parts of the four different deserts, the Chihuahua, the, Son the Sonoran, the Mojave, and the Great Basin. Is that Sonoran? The Sonoran Desert, the Mo Mojave, and the Great, the Great Basin. The Basin and the Range Province is home to the three national parks. While there are few large cities, most towns have small populations and are often isolated. Many people work in recreation and tourism, ranching or mining. Major cities. Most of the towns in the mountains and basin region are small. 
Often they are separated from other towns by mountains. However, there is one major city in the geographic region, El Paso. El Paso is Spanish for the pass. The city is located near the mountain pass, an area lower than the surrounding mountains that makes it easy to get to the other side of the mountains. The mountain pass is an important landform in the geographic region. El Paso is the fifth, fifth largest city in Texas. It is, all, it is so far away from other major cities, other major Texas cities, that is in the different time zone. A time zone is an area in which all the clocks are set to the same time. For example, if it's 4 o'clock in El Paso, it is 5 o'clock in Houston. El Paso is one time zone and Houston is another time zone. El Paso is located on the Rio Grande, a river that marks the border between Texas and Mexico. A border is a boundary line. On the other side of the Rio Grande is Mexico City, is the Mexican city of Juarez. More than two million people live in these two cities. A natural landmark. A landmark is an object such as a mountain that stands out from the area around it. Early settlers needed a landmark to help them find their way through the Guadalupe Pass. The mountain known as El Capitan was perfect for the job. It was tall enough to be easily seen. It was different enough to be easily recognized. Even today, people use the mountain as a landmark when traveling in this part of Texas. It's actually pretty cool to drive through El Paso. Um, I got to do it a couple of years ago. We drove over Christmas out to New Mexico, and they're not kidding when they say that mountain range lends itself the opportunity for... Um, Ice and snow, because we left the DFW Met Metroplex heading west down to El Paso, and it snowed on us. Like, I didn't know it snowed that much in Mexico, it, in Texas. It was crazy. Jessalyn. Oh, that's fantastic. I think it's amazing down in El Paso. I think it's cool. Scarlet. Yep. Kaden, last last remark and then I'm gonna show you where to make sure you take the quiz. You said about this? Okay. Oh, tell me about it, yeah. Does it really? See, we stopped along the way. That's crazy. Yeah, and you get to switch time zones. Yes, you do. That I do remember. It certainly is. All right, so when you are back on Sabas Easy Bridge, I am going to go back to um, the page where you see the classes, right? You see your classes. You're going to click on the social studies class. And since I've already clicked on his, look at this. You do not have any assignments to start. But guess where this assignment is for Jordan? Chloe. Where did it go? It is. It went to in progress. Yep. And since he's got so many other things that were in there, um, I went ahead and I went to the very last page because I knew this was going to be the last one listed. And that's where you see it. 11 9 2020, Lesson 1, the Mountains and Basins Region. Yes? I want you guys to click on that and you're going to take the quiz. You need to do well. Take the quiz and do well. When you're done, you can go ahead and leave. Bye. Jordan, I'm going to get out of your stuff. All right, I should be out. It's all you, bud.
Bye. Yes, ma'am. Scarlet. You can leave. And we're about to leave anyway. Just make sure you get it done or it's a zero. Scarlett, did you still have a question or is she already gone? She's already home. Bye. Bye.